All right, Gemini. So this one was interesting to me because at first I thought that some of you may feel like you're making a mistake, but I don't think that it's about you currently making any mistakes. I think that you're needing reassurance because you've made mistakes before, but you may be questioning the path that you're on now. It's almost like I've been down this road before and things haven't exactly worked out. I don't want to make another mistake. And it's like you're turning to the higher power here to look for reassurance. So transgression, flaws, contradictions, and mistake, and then guardian angel. Guardian angel for me in this situation is representing God, the source, the light, your angels, your guardian angel, however you want to label it. It is the higher power in the situation that you're turning to, to get reassurance from. Now, wherever you have made mistakes in your life, transgression is talking about make amends, take stock, assess and redirect and come back into harmony with the voice of your soul. That is what this card is about. But I don't think that you're making a mistake now. I think that you haven't made amends for the mistakes that you've made before. And I think it's clouding your judgment in regards to the path that you're on. You know, it's like, I don't want to make the same mistakes. But Guardian Angel is saying that you're okay. It's you do have this kind of protection and there will be like these divine kind of like inspirations coming through that are going to give you the answers that you're looking for. So I kind of look at this as like needing to pay attention to the signs, right? There's going to be affirmations for you along the path, but you have to make sure that you don't step backwards and make those same mistakes that you have before. You know, especially if you're questioning and wanting reassurance right now. All right, Gemini, here's your overall, the seven of wands. Okay. And that makes sense with the Oracle cards. So some of you may be facing opposition. And I, I think that some of you may be questioning on whether or not you're doing the right thing. For others of you, this is about you needing to speak up now, standing up for yourself, you know, not letting anything block your path. You know, for others of you, you may be questioning on whether or not something is worth fighting for, but we'll see how the Seven of Wands is playing out. But I, I, I see you needing to pull on this inner reserve it's almost like strength right but you need it in a way where you put it into action with the seven of wands where you're like no i am i'm not gonna allow this to block me i'm gonna hold this position and i'm gonna continue the work that i need to do okay in the past the six of wands so some recognition here you did the right thing. Whatever it was that you did in the past with the Six of Wands, you're, you're doing the right thing and people are recognizing you for that. Like, you know, great, Gemini, you're, you're doing exactly what you need to be doing. You know, but you move right into the Seven of Wands here. But I think that this is like your main issue or problem that you're going to be dealing with, right? And it's going to require a lot from you to kind of like continue doing what you believe is right for you. And I don't really think that it matters what other people think, but I do think that the recognition is important in terms of having support. But this is also showing that, you know, whatever obstacles you faced before, you've overcome them. And it may be something that you need to remember with whatever you're going to be facing here with the Seven of Wands. Okay. In the present, the high priestess, and, and again, you know, I kind of go back to guardian angel on this, but I want to see what's going on here. The high priestess, I think that for some of you, it's, you know, it not, you're, you're not for sure what's going to happen. You're only going based on what you believe to be the truth as far as what your intuition is telling you. Now, for some of you, this could be some information that you were not aware of that may be coming out. I don't know how this is creating opposition for you though, because it's not like a moon situation. You know, with the Six of Wands preceding this, a, a positive recognition would be coming through in a way where you didn't know or you didn't see, but it, it is made, you know, or it is shown to you, I should say. 
but I, you know, I, I don't know. I feel a little bit iffy about her. You know, I don't feel horrible, but I don't like the fact of not having, you know, just honest truth, right? Now, there may be some information, though, that you have gained through the difficulties that you have overcome that is playing a part in what you're choosing to do now, but it's like you're keeping that information to yourself and waiting for the right moment to use it, if that makes sense. But we'll see here. All right, so, you know, what's interesting to me here is the Seven of Pentacles talks about failure. And the thing is, is, you know, it brings up the question again of, is this worth continuing to fight for? I don't believe that the Seven of Wands would be there if it wasn't. You see what I'm saying? But for some of you, you may feel like things have only gotten to a certain point. Because with the Seven of Pentacles, we're reevaluating and taking stock of everything that you have to show for what you've been doing. You've done the right thing with that Six of Wands. But maybe something that you weren't aware of it makes itself known. And it may stop any further growth or it may make you think that there is no way that the situation can continue any further. Right? We can't get past the Seven. We can't get to the Ten of Pentacles here. But, you know, there may be a need to, like, redirect yourself because I'm still seeing you need to continue to fight for something that may appear to be a failure, but I don't know that, that it actually is because it's not over. That's the thing, right? And divine timing. But I don't feel bad about it. I just think that it, it's, it's what stands in your way that it is, I think, connected to that high priestess. The hell is going on, Gemini? Okay, your best path to follow, the Empress. Here's the thing. With her sitting there as your advice and looking at the Seven of Wands, this is worth fighting for. No matter what comes out. It doesn't matter, right? And it may just be very simply you needing to trust what your intuition is telling you to do, even though you may be in it. Again, I look at, you know, past mistakes, right? And not wanting to repeat that. That may be what you may... Let me slow down. That may be what you are going to feel like in the future because of the Seven of Pentacles. But I look at this and think if this is your advice, you need to continue to nurture and grow this. The only reason why it won't reach the Ten of Pentacles is because you're looking at it going, it's not going to grow beyond that point. She says no. Yes, it can. You're wrong. You know, this is really you needing to nurture what you are trying to grow. And if it has to do with other people, it's not about them. It's not about giving of yourself to other people because it's about you. It's, it's time for you to see abundance. You have that ability to bring something into full view into life here. But you have to be willing to nurture and grow it, right? Wow. Oh. <laughs> In your environment is you, the lovers. With the High Priestess, this is taking on a little bit of a different spin here because I feel like for some of you, it's bigger than just a relationship. But if we're talking about something that, you know, you kind of knew, but it, it comes into full view with the High Priestess, it may be that you just don't see how this relationship can continue to grow. And I feel like this is something that's coming into your life because of something that you've done recently that people see as positive. Now, for others of you, it, it is about needing to trust what you don't know for sure and making, you know, this major choice here to continue to nurture and grow what you love and what you are working toward here and what you are trying to establish. But for some of you, yeah, right? Unity. Unity. And then you have Venus sitting here. And I'm looking at what appears to be a failure and you ultimately choosing to continue to fight for this. You know, but then it makes me wonder where is the recognition coming from? Because it may be from somebody that you, do, you know, maybe aren't that interested in. <laughs> and that could only be for some of you, right? But, you know, it's, it's interesting, right? Here you are. Don't let the unknown tear you apart. 
that's what I want to say with that. You know, in even if that it doesn't have to do with you and another person, it could be, you know, not letting yourself be torn apart here, you know, because it is about that unity, right? Wow. Your hopes and your fears, and it makes sense, right? The Five of Swords, you don't want to be in this place of feeling defeated. And you certainly don't want to put yourself in a position where you are taken advantage of either. Because it's about you. It's about you and what you want. Not about what other people want. Some of you just may be fearing that this path is leading you down to, you know, this feeling of defeat and, and feeling like something is going to be taken from you. That's what I feel like looking at this. Like, it, it, it's, it's going to be the last, like, the breaking point for you, right? But everything here is indicating that even though you're not seeing the full potential yet, it's still worth fighting for. You know, whether it's about just you or if it's about you and a partnership. For some of you, it may be that you're fighting for your passion, but while this is happening, you have the attention of somebody else coming through that may be wanting to support and nurture. But the thing is, is you don't want to be so giving to yourself to a relationship where things are not equal. But this is a fear. And that's based on conditioning. You know, for some of you, you may have gotten out of these kind of verbally abusive relationships before, right? And that could be what this is indicating. But something is worth fighting for. It's worth nurturing here, I'm telling you. But you don't want to make the same mistakes. And it makes sense. Wow. Oh. I love it. Love it. Look at it. The Ace of Cups coming out. And you just, you're, you're going to be in a place where you're not, you're not seeing it, but it is going to be there. Oh, oh. And it's no wonder why it's, it look, I mean, and look at it. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> now, this could be any partnership. Really, truly it can. But when I see the lovers, it always reminds me of the fool's journey and the story of the fool going from, you know, the Hierophant where we learn about traditional values and commitments to learning about love, right? So I always look at this as a very significant relationship, but it's about something that creates unity for you so that you don't feel like you're torn, right? But clearly here, there is a new beginning for you here in love, I think, for a lot of you. I don't think that you see how it has the potential for growth, but the only way that it fails is if you don't protect it, you know? But this isn't like a nine of wands trying to protect, right? This is, I can't let opposition stand in the way of what could bring me absolute happiness, especially involving you and another person. You have moved on from difficult situations with that Six of Wands. And with the Ten of Swords, it was a painful thing for you. But it's definitely over with. You have picked yourself back up and you are moving forward. And it's out of this ruin that you have this new beginning that's coming through. But this is where I'm kind of like, eh. And it makes me think that with this Knight of Wands, you may be not really knowing for sure if this is worth investing into, but I'm telling you it is because it may seem like this is just acting on immediate passion, but not really thinking of the long term, right? And you may be questioning that if this is about somebody coming through to you because the Knight of Wands is like quick, right? In and out. But I don't think it's that. I think it's just that is the the type of person that you're dealing with their immediate their how do i put this they act immediately on a passion that is felt but it is being directed toward you and then you have this harmony between you and this person with the two of cups and this develops into a relationship where situations like this before have ended in ruin which is why you don't want to make the same mistake again Wow, Gemini. <laughs> and I think some of you needed to hear this. Like you needed to hear this because it's like a, 
you know, but you're not trusting in that because if you were, you wouldn't be going to this place of, you know, there is no more potential here. But then having this as, you know, the overall here where we're fighting for this and being told to nurture it. An adventure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny because what I'm getting from this is like I can I can hear some Gemini's later on having all of this new energy and and their throat chakra is just spinning and all this information is going to be coming out about all the adventures that you're having like i can see all kinds of things being posted on social media and you know posting the whole i'm in a relationship with this person <laughs> but it's great right you're going to be speaking from a place that is going to be new to you And it leads you down all of these new adventures. I love it. I think it's great, man. You guys are blowing me away with some of these readings. I'm telling you. <laughs> and then be authentic to who you are. Who else had this? I think it was Taurus. Or was it Aries? It might have been Aries. And then, <laughs> and then you've got, oh, yeah. And then you've got the Knight of Wands. Okay. So be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true, but pertaining to who you are and how you feel. I swear I know how to read and I know how to communicate. I just can't do it today. <laughs> so this is about needing to be real with yourself about how you feel about love. But you also have to come from a place of understanding that love is always there right? You have to be open to it. But I think that some of you are looking at this going, I'm not really sure if that's what that is. You might be surprised. You might be surprised. And I think that this is something that you're probably going to be talking about for a long time to come, right? Like, it's funny because I almost get the feeling that for some of you, it's, it's going to be people are going to be sick of hearing about you and your relationship. Like, oh, okay, whatever, Gemini, right? Like, <laughs> But I, I, I would be doing the same thing, talking about it all the time. Hell yeah. But you have to be authentic with yourself. You can't suppress the things that you fear, but you also can't withhold, you know, what you are thinking and what you are feeling with the high priestess, right? Communication may be the way to kind of like clear that up, but it's going to take you on a whole new adventure. <laughs> I love it, Gemini, and just like I've said to Taurus, I want to know all about it. I want to know all about it. 